After Grace's father died, she became very depressed. She just really wouldn't get out of bed. I was there as a shoulder to cry on. I would occasionally stop by after work to help her with her online classes. Me coming around, helping her with school, had a snowball effect to where we have formed this close relationship, the special bond that we have. It's not anything that I've set out to do. It's kind of the path that, that we went down. One time, Grace asked me to bring over a bottle of whipped cream. When I brought the whipped cream over, I made a bad joke, put the whipped cream on my neck. She maybe laughed a little bit, but she's like, that's weird. I was embarrassed. It was a bad joke. I wiped it off really quick. That was the last that we even talked about it. Bridget contacted my wife about that incident, kind of trying to, uh, go, I feel like, go overboard a little bit, you know, make it look like something terrible would happen. My wife talked to me about it. She really, truly didn't believe anything inappropriate had happened. When the rumors first started flying, I wrote a heartfelt letter to Grace. Grace, I've gotten to know you so well over the last three months or so. I love you with all my heart. The way I love you is unique, and I don't know how to explain it, but I think you understand, and I think it's the same for you. I know you're only 16, but you're one of my best friends in the world. I will always, always be there for you. Love, Kevin. There's absolutely nothing inappropriate with my relationship with Grace. Thank you for being here. You were, we, we were gonna add you, and then backstage you said you were refusing to come out unless you came with your wife? Yeah, um, why, why up is to that? this point, um, I felt like I knew where everybody was coming from, but I heard some things that were just not true from, from Tammy. So I'm not comfortable with people digging things up, and, and I think just the surprises caught me off guard. Do well, not, we've I, wanted your wife to be part of this to begin with, and your wife said, no, do not want to be part of the show. Then she said, well, actually, I'll sit in the audience, but right. I don't want to talk. Then she said, no, I'll sit in the audience, but I'll talk, but only to Dr. Phil. Uh -huh. Then she said, okay, now I'll actually come and be, so you've been. Right, I would like so to been, avoid this We've wanted process. you to be here from the beginning. We, right. Because I have a lot of questions I want to ask you, but you guys have been making demands and changing them, the, the story all within 30 seconds ago. I well, mean, people didn't... who have nothing to hide, hide nothing. So I can't imagine why you would be going through all of these things. Because uh, you don't know what I think. You, you might be pleasantly surprised to know what I think. And I'm curious, um, did, did you guys all have a conference call yesterday where you worked out the story you were going to tell no. and how everybody was going to tell the same story once you got here no, on the phone except not, for Tammy no. on Saturday night? And what do you know about the call, Tammy? I looked at Bridget and I said, what is it? What's going on? She's like, something must have happened with Carrie and Kevin because... They're telling me they're threatening that they're going to go home. And I said, well, what happened? Well, then Grace said, well, she had talked to Kevin about a few of the questions that were asked. It's not true. Well, then why did we Grace lie? I haven't spoke to Grace. These two spoke. Well, Harry I think we you know what? I think we're going to find the bottom here. And I think you want to find the bottom here because let me, That's do you know what, what a I'm mandated reporter is? Yes. Yes. And I am one. So am I, and apparently y'all don't take this seriously, but I do. Y you want to be part Absolutely. of this conversation, Thank and you. if you want to just leave, just leave, and we can work this out another way. But I'm not comfortable with everything that's flying around here, and it needs some clarification. Okay. Okay. Because I'm real so uncomfortable with this, and I have one priority here, mm -hmm. and that's the safety of this child, mm -hmm. and I don't, I don't get the urgency on anybody's part about the safety of this child other than Tammy. The phone call consisted of us discussing that some of us felt uncomfortable about the situation and how it might go. With Kevin saying that he was going to call the whole thing off, we were, me and my sister Carrie were saying, let's go get the help that we need, and we were all in agreeance that that's what we needed to do. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.